a three-time All-American, seeking his second national title. And Nashawn Garrett, who was a breakout star at last year's championships, taking on Delgado. And seconds in, a very aggressive shot by Nashawn Garrett. Delgado, one of the best scramblers in the field so far, able to avoid the takedown. Well, if he avoided that takedown, because that's what Nashawn Garrett needed to do, then he can avoid any takedown. Oh, well, potentially dangerous move there. What a great matchup here. And that Oof. double leg, that blast, that wasn't just a freight train. That was the Wabash cannonball with the train whistle. And, uh, oh, Delgado. Woo! Uh, what a scramble. Delgado, arguably the best scrambler in the field. Now, Cornell is going to challenge this. They think Nashawn Garrett had the two points for the takedown. After video review, the call on the man is confirmed. No takedown. No takedown. Officials, Tim Shields, Kirk Frost for this match. And they confirm the mat call. That is no takedown for Garrett. Very aggressive start to this match. And I want to go back to something that Anthony said. Look how low Delgado gets. It forces opposing wrestlers to try to match him in terms of the level that they're at. And Garrett, he just seems so comfortable down there already. So really, it's not much of a style switch for him. But what I really like about Garrett, what he's doing, you know, is he's controlling the center of the mat. He's staying low. He's forcing Delgado to come to him. Let's go, guys. Take a look at our keys to victory, Tim. Well, it's already happened. Garrett, <laughs> has, right. he got, Garrett shot, and he went to and through the man. He knocked Delgado off his base, but Delgado, he's screaming scramble. And right there, again, he scrambles. He's not the normal sprawl. He jumps to the back leg. When, when you look at his eyes, when they're face to face, he's not even looking at the belt buckle. He's looking at the back leg to be ready to jump back to it. Trying to avoid a takedown for the second time in this match. Garrett trying to bring him down. We might end up in a stalemate here. Here's where Jesse Delgado is the best. Watch. Whoever keeps their head up is going to win this scramble. There it is, the stalemate. Delgado is so good in scramble situations. Again, we said it, arguably the best in the field this year. Uh, Delgado's a good, doing a great job of scrambling there, but at some point, Garrett's going to finish <laughs> yes, one of these yeah. takedowns. He's doing a great job just sticking with his strategy, controlling the center of the man. You control the center, you're controlling the pace. We said it, Cornell has all three of its challenges remaining that they came in with in the tournament. So they're going to initiate another challenge. Now they lost their first one. They're trying to say whether or not Garrett had the takedown to start the match. Man, Garrett's after tough. Vid after video takedown. review, the call on the man is confirmed. No takedown. Again, no takedown. Rob Cole pacing, the head coach of Cornell, and Delgado twice has avoided giving up two points. And Garrett stays on his offense, maintaining his aggressiveness. A minute 20 to go in the first and still scoreless. Cornell only has one challenge left, but this is their only wrestler in the finals. Garrett's another one of those guys that's so tough in the hand fighting positions there. He's doing a great job earlier this tournament with Mega Lewis just controlling the left hand. See here again, he's just fighting the hands and getting control. Very strong in that position. They won't let Delgado really post up on him here. A minute to go in the first. There's Delgado going in on his first attack. And wrist control by Nashawn Garrett. Watch his left arm. So wiry strong. Stop. Here we go. Garrett again in on a leg. A single this time. And a scramble by Delgado to avoid the two. Boy, you can tell both these wrestlers expect to win. What a great matchup. And Delgado trying to maintain position. Now Garrett in a defensive hole. And he's got a head up. He's pressuring in. Trying to scramble on a bounce, and he does. Nicely done by Garrett. What a great first period between these two. And now Mark Perry, Jr., Illinois assistant, is going to challenge in Delgado's favor. He thought that Delgado should have had a takedown at the edge of the mat. Already the third challenge in this opening period. After video review, the call on match confirmed. No takedown. All right. Three challenges. Three confirmations of the ruling on the mat. Still scoreless through two minutes and 40 seconds. 15.
Garrett 0-2 against Jesse Delgado in his career, including last year's semifinals. Very aggressive in his first, but still no score. Let's go to Quinn Kesnick with Cornell coach Rob Cole. Coach, what is critical for Nashon in terms of finishing against such a, a good scrambler? Well, the problem is Nashon is so explosive, it almost feeds into his Delgado's kind of rolling ability. So, I mean, if he was a little slower, it wouldn't use, he wouldn't have that momentum. He's got to get it in a little higher. He's got to, he can't be down as low on the knees. He's got to get a little higher in the, in the, up in the crotch and hips. Controls hips. What is a, a single point of emphasis in terms of mat wrestling in this match? Yeah, well, you can't lift him too hard, or you'll roll. You can't lift on a mat return. You, you, the, the kid can grab you through. Uh, so every, every every mat return has got to be very kind of deliberate, and he's got to tie up those hands, which I think he's got one right now, which is good. Thank you, Coach. Quinn, Rob, thank you very much. And we're seeing exactly what Coach Cole was talking about. He brought Delgado very high up, and that momentum almost got Delgado into what he loves to do, the scramble. Hey, yeah, he's so explosive, whether he's on his feet, on top position, so explosive, so quick, so he's got to slow it down a little bit, but I can't, I'm not sure if Garrett is tougher on his feet or tougher on top. You see, he's working those wrists there. He's got some dangerous tilts. If he can get that wrist control, get it across to the hip. Well, one thing Garrett's got to do is got to win on the mat because in the times they've wrestled, it's an interesting statistic, but it's seven to eight takedowns or so for Delgado, none for Garrett. So he's never taken down Delgado, and if he didn't do it in that first period, he's going to have a tough time doing it. And get a stall count against Garrett. Warning against Garrett with 50 to go and out of bounds. 51 to go in the second period. Last year's semifinals. This is a rematch of that matchup. That Delgado won en route to knocking out Nico Megalutis in the championship a year ago. These two wrestlers, both from California. Delgado from Gilroy, Garrett from Chico. Both coming cross country to wrestle in their college careers. Delgado looking for the first escape of the match. Delgado's action coming up and having, yeah, because it was going to be another stall call in a matter of 10 seconds, so Garrett really had no choice there. He did establish a riding time point. Delgado right back to his offense. Look how he gathers himself. The hips underneath him, head up. What Garrett's got going for him is that they're at the edge of the mat. He's got to try to get out of bounds. He did a nice job of avoiding the two there, but Delgado trying to put him down. Just that swim move. He's got to swim over, get that arm. He's on his, he's on his front, that's two. See, because he had the ankle. Through two, his parents, Jesus and Liz, looking on. Liz wasn't able to be at the championships in Des Moines a year ago, tending to an infant back at home in California, but they're both here in attendance tonight, hoping Jesse can win his second consecutive national championship. So on their feet, we saw the aggressiveness of Garrett in the first period. Is he going to be as aggressive this time? That's a smart move there by Garrett, picking neutral, conserving his ride time point. He's really been a force on his feet. He just can't seem to finish off those takedowns because of his scrambling ability. But let's see if he can change it up here. The coaching staff told Garrett not to chase Delgado too much, but he may not have a choice here. Delgado gets back with a stall warning. A minute 35 to go. And for as much action as these two are really providing, to have stall calls already on the 125 pound class is a little unusual. Well, the first 30, 40 seconds of this match were incredible in terms of the aggressiveness between both Garrett and Delgado. How fast they are, how quick they are. You wanna know how tough Garrett is? Just look at that tape on his nose. He's not afraid to get physical. Yeah. He's been battered and bloodied up during this NCAA tournament these last three days. What, what you'd like to see is these wrestlers be able to handle it on the mat, the referees not get too involved. And it's a go. Garrett does have the riding time point. And he's going to need a takedown to try to tie up this match. Can he do it? Can he finish? Can Delgado continue to defend? Delgado's gotten away a couple of times. Garrett back in on a leg and a great scramble by Delgado again. Watch Delgado come up. She lays to the, to the mat. Around. Head up. He keeps the head up. 
officials are going to whistle this. Same situation as they were when they went out of bounds earlier. That one time right now, I see Delgado with uh, a little bit under his right eye there. A potentially dangerous call by the officials, so they're going to stop it there. Back to the feet they go. Garrett continues to press forward, try to get some kind of angle on a guy who's got such a low, low position to try to take him down. It's so difficult against Delgado. Definitely is. You heard Coach Cole saying earlier how Nation has to aim a little bit higher up, not so low, but it's hard to do against a guy like Delgado because he's staying so low. The only opening is down below his knees. Delgado needs a shot, and he just gave it. And the riding time point belongs to Garrett as he tries to scramble out of bounds, almost got in too deep. The Illinois coaching staff wants a start call. But out of bounds they went. Jeremy Hunter, NCAA champion for Penn State 15 years ago. And Delgado's not worried about stalling right now, just 10 seconds to go. There is a stall call though. It's a point for Garrett. Trying to roll them out of bounds, but they're already outside the cylinder. Four seconds to go. Delgado just trying to survive these final moments. Being chased by Garrett. Edge of the map. That'll do it. Back to back national titles for Jesse Delgado. Garrett was denied by Delgado a year ago in the semis. He's denied a title this year in the finals. A lot of mutual respect between these two incredible athletic, athletic wrestlers. Mark Perry Jr. in the corner for Jesse Delgado. He won a couple of titles, and Jesse has two now. 